<laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet. On this channel, we do go over all things fragrance. So we talk about, we usually like to focus on one perfume house at a time per week and make little series to really d deep dive into these uh, perfume houses. We do niche, which we're covering this week. We're doing memo and uh, we do designer houses we go over layering combos we're talking from the top dollar stuff to the most affordable things out there on the market to help you smell your most delicious self if that is something that you're interested in then go ahead and hit the like button subscribe to the channel and then also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified to new videos because we you never know which <laughs> why am i stuttering you never know which fragrance house you're going to uh i'm going to go ahead and deep dive into next so this week like i said we're doing memo paris and they were founded in 2007 by a couple uh her name is claire malloy and her husband's name is john and what they do is they kind of recreate the essence of far away distant travels so if i mean every single perfume in this house is tied back to certain landscapes or islands and and just travel destinations throughout the world so in that in and of itself is just beautiful art you know culture to ex, ex you know go through cultures and um so this is a beautiful bottle with this eye here and this one's called marpa and it is inspired by a um a city in texas marfa and there is an agave note in here actually so we're gonna wear test that we haven't wear tested it yet what i like to do is really really explore fragrances for you guys wear test them come back and give you my thoughts the very next day and usually on sundays you'll find out what we're going to focus on for the rest of the week and uh, so this week on sunday we went over eight samples that we have carded samples and i also have three full-size bottles there were about three fragrances, uh, you know, that I figured I wasn't going to be able to do, but all the fragrance samples that we have are going to be in the description. Okay, so that was it for that. And today we are going over one of my full bottles by the name of Winter Palace. What a gorgeous bottle just look at this beautiful bottle so this is from the artland collection um they like other you know fragrance houses have different collections this is artland memo sintra is artland and so is marfa so i'm um, apparently attracted to all the scents in the artland collection um and today this is a different one Ooh, okay so today Let's go over Winter Palace. So this, and let me open the drawer because I've just been dropping things lately and I would die. I would just curl up in a little ball and need a minute if anything happened to this gem. Um, I have lost two fragrances recently, goodness. And uh, so anyways, today we wore Winter Palace and the reviews talk about how you know the longevity and the projection leaves something to be desired it they say that it doesn't go the distance that it doesn't uh, project the way that people want it to but honestly not every single fragrance is going to give you that and um, this is one of them that that will not so this is winter palace oh my gosh okay so we have beautiful notes in this concoction we have orange and red tea oil of bergamot, dry amberwood accord, grapefruit essence, cystus labdanum, styrax resinoid, vanilla extract, musk, tonka bean, lemon, mate, which is an herbal tea. I looked it up because I was like, what's mate? I've never heard of mate. And then gergem balm, which is another thing I had to look up. And so what is gergem balm? Because this is in the dry down apparently. It is actually processed tree exudate. Okay, it, the olfactive description of this is that it's a woody, spicy, animalic, and warm note. So yeah, that just kind of ties the whole fragrance together. So I wore this today. I sprayed it around 6 a.m. It is here. It is here on, you know, I sprayed it behind my ears. I sprayed it inside my, my scrub top. I sprayed it on my scrub top, on my shoulders. Oh yeah. I've been enjoying this fragrance all day. It did waft at me. I was wearing this jacket and it is just 
here it sticks to clothing very very well okay i would say i mean it sticks to clothing very well it is a very soft scent on my skin and today i'm just waiting and waiting for my unscented FNK Scentology Lotion. Uh, Cause I don't, whenever I'm testing out a new product, okay, I don't like to mix different scents with with the new fragrance that I've never, if I've never uh, wear tested it before. I, I just recently received this bottle. And so even though I haven't wear test, uh, today's the first day that I take it out of the house on a full day. I had worn this at home before just to see, you know, what it was giving me. And it is a beautiful, unique fragrance. Uh, I couldn't find too many reviews that said it smelled like anything else. Although I did find a really good alternative to this, which was called Five O'Clock by Brocard. Five O'Clock. Um, you know, it says that it also has that citrus blast. You do smell that orange in the opening. It kind of does overtake the tea note. I'll say that. But, but then somehow, you know, as it's developing, the tea note reappears and maybe it's the mate. I'm not sure, but it's there. So, and there's no lemon in here. Yes, there is. <laughs> there's lemon. I was like, all day long, I was getting wafts of like, I smelled like an Arnold Palmer. You know what an Arnold Palmer is? A tea mixed with the lemonade. That is what I was kind of like, okay, I've smelled this before. I used to work in the restaurant industry. And um, so I've served my fair share of Arnold Palmers. And it has a unique scent with that, the lemon and the tea. And I've drank them before too. So um, yeah, this that's what it was giving me um, in the opening. And I'm going to spray it again because I'm wearing it right now. Just so I can revisit the opening. Oh, because, let me tell you. I am waiting on my FNK unscented lotion. Because this, this baby, things just cling to it. And like I said, I don't like to... This is inspired by uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. I have the Love Don't Be Shy and my Suntal and things of that nature. And so my unscented lotion is just going to be whoo, so nice. Um, because I love all the skin benefits in that particular lotion. It has so many good oils. It has nine, you know, Argan 9 oils. It has a uh, very, just jojoba and vitamin E and, you know, for your, for your, for aging and for scars. Uh, but today I did go with the Cerave V and like I mentioned, be in another video, I uh, haven't been liking the generic smell or scent that I get from that and well it's not here this was strong enough this was strong enough to overtake that generic you know unscented scent <laughs> so I'm wondering how the FNK one's gonna be I hope it's delicious you know like I hope it's like maybe slightly sweet and just or or just completely unscented and 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 just gives me that but it should get here this week okay I'm so excited um but anyways going back to how this smells in the dry down nice and sweet and vanilla the tonka bean and the vanilla do come out in this dry down it is sweet not cloying whatsoever i think that this would be a really good round fragrance for i'm i think any weather really i'm not placing this at any specific type of event or you know it's just like when i'm going to reach for it whenever i feel like smelling like a sweet lemon you know tea <laughs> like i'm just gonna reach for it so the opening is just wow you get the tea you get that you do get the tea um i didn't mention the orange so at the beginning the orange is strong the citrus is very strong um the bergamot is very fresh and then and then you get that tea right away like right away so i'm this is a really beautifully blended fragrance i really enjoy winter palace i started out with a decant of this i was just trying it it was uh i think during my first week of surge off week i ended up ordering also the winter palace so uh that week is when i first you know one of the days i was i think it was on the weekend i just sprayed it on myself and i was just like oh my god i like it I can't put my finger on it, but I like it. It's a, it's an aromatic green fragrance, but at the same time, it's 
and I'm really liking that those types of profiles that they're fresh but they're sweet and they want to lean gourmand but you know they're not so it's just really nice it's really really nice um it did waft off it is not strong on the skin the way that it is over here so I would say that longevity is about so it gave a good eight hours on the skin however it just dissipates it starts getting lighter and lighter and lighter not that you don't smell anything at all and it helped that it stayed in my hair very well yes it stayed in my hair super well and here on my clothes and on my jacket so i i was still surrounded by the fragrance no problem and um i was actually thinking since it's like a lemon tea so nice and it has that vanilla in it i'm already gonna start i'm already gonna start i shared some of this loveliness with a couple friends since i have received it because sharing is caring and i shouldn't be the only one enjoying this loveliness <laughs> okay so this is the new um or my new it's been around since i believe 2007 as well um saint barth fragrance well this one did not come out in 2007 this one was released winter palace was released in 2019 okay but the company uh, memo itself was released in 2007 this beauty is the vanilla of all vanillas and i just kept thinking about it all day i was like imagine if i had layered this oh my goodness which i'm gonna do now we're gonna get a good two hours or so before i shower Ah, this is so oh so like it it squirts there's no there's no spray there's no spritz this is very oily fragrance this, this is very very heavy um and so yeah i think it's meant to be like just rubbed all over because <laughs> that's what i do i spray it and then i'm like oh 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 we can't lose any of that we can't lose any of it so this is i never said what it was did i this is saint bart's vanille west indies and i cannot wait for my unscented fnk lotion and this baby to just just keep me all kinds of hydrated and smelling delicious <laughs> um hydrated on my skin i love that feeling so soft so soft so i'm gonna layer this i already got that baby in there because I just, I really enjoyed the vanilla dry down of this. And I just feel like if I were to mix it with the, the Vanier West Indies, which literally only has three notes, vanilla, caramel, and orchid. That is all you get in the vanilla West Indies, but it's a beautiful fragrance. It is just delicious and gourmand and it smells like cookies. So I was like, cookies and tea? Mm, I don't see why not. I'm picturing myself now. I have my red. Oh, let's put this down. <laughs> I have my red tea, you know, whatever kind of tea is in here. Um, and I have my little lemon cookies on the side. And I'm just, it's a whole vibe. It really is. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is, this is what I like. I love, I keep saying this, you know, in other videos too, but I just love it when, when I get, when my fragrances give me an experience, not just a meh, you know, eh, it was okay. Or, you know, like just, I love it when they give me experiences like this. I just do. Um, so, so I went over the notes, went over the longevity. It's not there on the skin. It doesn't go whoo, like beast mode, like Sintra, for example. No, it does not. Um, and so very reminiscent of the one we tried yesterday, which was Siwa. Um, you know, all, I will say that this one was, it, I could smell it stronger than the Siwa. So the Siwa is still a lighter fragrance than the Winter Palace. Oh, it's really strong right now. Oh my goodness. Yes. This is, this is a good mix. This is, this might even solve some longevity issues on the skin definitely i'll let y'all know how that goes i'm about to have dinner and um we will come back tomorrow and review another fragrance uh what else i don't think anybody else i i was looking up notes i was looking up reviews i couldn't really find too much i mean it was barely released in 2019 um a lot of the people that reviewed it did enjoy it as i did as i as i enjoyed it and um, I think that you could find this on fragrancenet.com 
for I think because these are normally go for about $1.99 but if you're you can look these up the memo fragrances just look them up plug them in online and I think the lowest that I've seen it run is about $1.99 or so um but you know I'm, I'm not sure what your budget is but that's these bottles run a good $300 so that's why I brought up the 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 scent that was smelled similar and I haven't tried it though I love to try um lesser priced fragrances that give reminiscence you know or or thoughts of a more expensive fragrance so that you could still enjoy the vibe and you know maybe not so much the quality of the ingredients that the, for example the house of memo uses um but at least the olfactive experience that you might be able to try if, if you if this is not in your wheelhouse another thing that i would suggest is just to kind of look up um what are those things called like decanters like people who sell samples of expensive niche fragrances go online go online go on facebook join perfume groups they're so knowledgeable in there i've, been, I've just been learning so much on this fragrance journey so i will forever share that with you guys um as long as you allow me to <laughs> and you guys have a great evening thank you so much for listening to me rant about memo winter pal i've been calling it winter's palace this whole time it's winter palace and it's delicious <sighs> okay the vanilla i'll report back tomorrow on this but the vanilla west indies is taking over it's taking over the winter palace on this arm i didn't even spray a lot okay y'all have a great night bye-bye Stay safe. <laughs>